Hello, I'm Dr. Timothy Rusco from Boston Children's Hospital. Today we're going to demonstrate how to do a postural screening exam for scoliosis. The initial phase of a postural screening program begins with visual examination of the torso by a trained examiner. The exam should occur in a space where patient privacy can be maintained and sufficient space is available so that the adolescent can be observed in a 360 degree fashion. The examiner can circle the adolescent or the adolescent can change position as shown in this video. First, the examiner studies the adolescent from the front. Boys should remove their shirt to expose the neck, shoulder, chest, lumbar region to the upper level of the pelvis. Girls can be examined wearing a bathing suit or halter top. The head and neck should be midline. Check to see if one shoulder is higher than the other. The anterior rib cage should be symmetric. The distance between the arms at the elbow and the torso should be equal. Next, from the posterior view, the examiner should confirm that the feet are parallel and the knees are straight. Inspection advances to the waist. The waistline should be the same on both sides and the pelvis should be level. Look for a larger space between the arm and flank on one side. If the pelvis is not level, there may be a leg length difference. The hips should be level and symmetrical. Check to see if one side is higher or more prominent. Here, the distance between the extended arms and trunk show a trunk shift to the right. Asymmetry of the scapula is in its height and rotation, a typical finding in thoracic scoliosis. Shoulder height appears lower on the left side compared with the right. The neck and head are midline. The side view is next. The arch of the low back and the roundness of the thorax should balance so that the shoulder and head are centered over the pelvis. Look for accentuated roundness in the upper back and accentuated arching in the lower back. Finally, the adolescent should bend forward with the knees extended into the Adam's forward bend test position. Make sure the feet are together, knees straight, the palms of the hands together, and head down. Asymmetry of the torso can best be appreciated on the horizon. The lower back can be assessed for further flexion. Use caution, as many adolescents will flex the knees while attempting to bend further due to relative tightness of the hamstrings. This completes the visual exam. If the exam is positive, parents should be notified and the adolescent referred to the primary care provider.